have to admit, I was pretty excited about doing this video. It's the first real video I did after my 100 subscriber. So, with that said, I was kind of excited and I forgot a few key points. One, you really only have to do this on the exterior walls of your house, where your outlets and light switches are. No need to do the interior. You can, but it's a waste of money. Second of all, in the description box, not only is there links to the products I use, but there's also a link describing the benefits of doing this. And third of all, and most importantly, it's always best to be sick and turn off the power. I really didn't have the option of doing that when it came to the light switches and the outlets due to the fact if I'd done that, it would have been a dark video. Well, go ahead and give it a watch and I hope you enjoy. Welcome to the first episode under the new name, Survival on a Budget, Made Easy. Today I'm going to show you how to stop the drafts out of these little guys. It's pretty simple, you just need some electric outlet sealers. There are a couple bucks at your local Lowe's, I'll have a link to them in the description box. Let's go ahead and get it started. Here's a close up of the pack. Here's what they look like once you take them out of the pack. And here's what they look like once you separate them. For safety reasons, you all turn off the electric, but to be honest with you, I'm leaving it on, because if I turn it off, this is going to be one dark video. Let's go ahead and get started. First, you're going to need your straight screwdriver. Remove the screw. Place it on. You want to be careful not to get your fingers in behind there because it will give you a little bit of a shock. Place the cover. And for an added bonus, go ahead and add some child safety plugs. Not only will that help keep your spam safe, that will also help cut back on your drafts. I'll have a link to those in the description boxes also. Okay, now we're going to use the electric switch sealers. And I know you're wondering, what do you do when you got three of them? Well, I'm going to show you. As you can already see, I took the screws out trying to save a little time. Take this off. This is what they look like in the pack. This is what they look like separated. If you notice, they're going to overlay and they won't line up and gap out if you try to use them singly. So I'm going to show you how, what to do when you have a situation when you have three of them. Let's get started. Okay, we have the outlet plate removed. Take your three pieces. Lay them in there, line them up the best you can. Take your Sharpie. Draw a line. Let's cut it down. Now you gotta remember we're doing this on a budget. Just take yourself some scotch tape or masking tape, whatever you have handy. Tape them all together. And yes, I'm using two different kinds of tape because I'm trying to show you that both kinds are actually work. I wouldn't suggest any, using any kind of a 
aluminum tape like you do around your ductwork or anything but this will work alright it will serve the purpose let's go ahead and reinstall it here's our newly modified sealer go ahead put it on you're going to have to work it in around the corners it's going to be a little more difficult than your outlet covers just fit it around the light switch as best as you can you might have to go over the same outlet switch a couple of times put your cover back on okay as you can see how it's bulging out take your time put the screws in a little bit at a time just work your way over and I'll get that out for you let me go ahead and do that a while and I'll be right back as you can tell we have the light switch cover back on there's no visible difference but trust me when you touch this and it's cold outside you're going to feel the difference it's a cheap easy do-it-yourself project that's going to save you pennies even dollars further down the road if this was helpful and as always thank you for watching and please subscribe